Hello and welcome back to Spiritfarer, welcome back to this boat, and welcome back to the moon rising up in the sky, because apparently there is a day and night cycle, there's also god rays that the light sources create, which is kind of cool. We are, well we have taken over from Sharon, so this is kind of the boat of the dead, I guess, and this is the sea of sticks rather than the river sticks. We visited Albert at his shipyard last time, we met Gwen, which is, uh, a very fashionable Bambi's mum, I guess? Uh, I also worked out that this button brings up... What was that? Was that the cat? I love the cat. The cat's great. Um, I also worked out this button on the controller brings up the captain's log. So we got some requests. Uh, set sail captain, talk to Gwen. We have the upgrades. So in order to um, get a mailbox, we are going to need to gather 250 glims, eight maple planks, eight linen thread, and four lightning in a bottle. I have no idea what any of that is yet. Uh, we can also upgrade the ship for 1,200 glims, and for 400 glims, two maple logs and one limestone, we can get something. Oh, upgrade the blueprint table. Excellent. I'm still getting used to the controller. I haven't really used a controller since the Sega Mega Drive. Um, well, that's going to be a Sega Genesis if you happen to be in America. We need to talk to Gwen, though. So, hello, old chum. Uh, on this button. Good. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway... Let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here. All right. Okay. Um, so A is jump. And this is a blueprint table. So I guess activate it. So we have the edit. Okay, I have no idea what to do at this point. Can I just move things with the mouse? No. Uh, okay, click on edit. And now I can move things with the mouse. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, A select. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Okay, maybe not so much. So, um, why salvage? Uh, we're going to get 20 maple log, 3 empty bottle, 2 old shoes, and 1 old carpet. Alright, I will A select that. Wonderful. So I suppose we can now go back using the B button. And B again. Right, okay. So, hands off the mouse, stop touching the mouse. The cat looks a little bit worried. But the cat's fine. Um, okay, cool. Wonderful. Um, talk to Gwen. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff, and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun! Alright, okay, and the sun's coming up. Oh, brilliant, that's actually really cool. Uh, so the night cycle isn't too, too bad. Uh, let's see if we hop up here. Can we build a guest house? I'm going to find out. So build. Uh, blue button. Right, okay, that, that works. That works. So um, what is this? Field garden. Um, okay, there we go. Guest house. Everybody's welcome in the guest house. Oh, it's a shoulder button. Okay, got it. 20 maple log. So blue. Oh, A's green button now. All right, um, we can build it. Ah, oh, look at that. We can actually build it up as well. Neat. I wonder if we need to build it up and then build other things above it. I don't know. Let's just hit A to build. Boom. Why would anyone not want to spend more than a night in there? That's That looks amazing. That actually genuinely looks amazing. Let me slide down the thing. And this... Okay. Gwen. We're Stella. Gwen goes inside. Um, how do we go inside? Ah, the blue button. Do we need to talk to Gwen? She looks sad. Um, requests. Talk to Gwen. Yeah, we do. Okay, excellent. We'll do it. It looks like I'm going to sit on the sofa, though. Um, yeah. How do I talk to you? Stop, stop being the sofa. 
Oh, I just gave the cat a hug! Wait, what? Sorry, Gwen. I need to leave a second. Come here. Come, come on, kitty. Huh? I can give the cat a hug! I'm gonna do it again. Don't... Don't at me. I freaking love cats. Okay. Um, right. So we can't really talk to Gwen because she's being sad in her house. Hmm. And she's right next to the freaking sofa. I can't do anything while she's next to the sofa. How? Okay. Um, I guess we just sit next to her with the cat on lap. No, that's that's ridiculous. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. I'm sure we can go somewhere or at least do something. Um, I mean, we can go fishing. That's the thing that happens. And then there's a little bob. Eventually it'll do a little bob. You need a little bob? Oh, there we go. That's a big old... Oh, I need to reel it in. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I was like, what's going on here? It's a shoe. It's a herring. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's leave that. Um, let's look at the menu again. Talk to Gwen. Um, I have the ability to travel the world now. How nice. Okay, be close. Oh, Gwen's come out. Right. Hi. Thank you for leaving the thing. I don't know why she just went and stood in front of a, a interactable object, but we'll find out. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Huh. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Oh, okay, no, that genuinely was a cue for us to go fishing. Alright. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. You're a... You're a spirit, somehow wearing high heel hooves. And a fur coat made of yourself. I... I don't know what's going on. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure you've seen the plans for it in there. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. And there is only one way to get some. I... Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence. And even I cower from it. A void that swallows all. Light included. It can take many forms, and for me it is always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. I get cranky when I'm hungry. Can we give you a hug? <gasps> yeah, we can! Thank you. I needed that. I am 100% for any game that allows you to hug. Oh, and we actually we got a little thing up. Okay. Um, I need to go back. There we go. Set sail, Captain. Request completed. Um, go hunt down some jellyfish. So we don't we don't go to the market. We go and hunt some jellyfish. It is about midday, so we probably need to get a bit of a hustle on. We're just looking around. Um, that bell is creeping, though. So. Right, let's go in here and activate the machine. A dark patch of fear. Okay, yeah, that looks like a dark patch of fear. I mean, uh, set destination, I guess. Straight to the heart of that particular darkness. 
Oh yeah, no, we can leave, can't we? Um, 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 um buttons, 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 buttons. Well, you see. Oh, we they'll be talking to you. Um, yeah. Okay. So we are now we are moving. Yeah, the boat is actually moving. Ah, seagull, be gone. Oh, and that's the travel time in the top left. Right. Okay. So the the actual time of day is top right, and I could turn that off and on by hitting the uh, left shoulder button. Left and right is a slight problem for me. I'm kinesthetic, which means I'm more visual than uh, most other things. I suppose we could do some fishing. <gasps> yeah, what about if we do fishing while we're sailing along? That's ridiculous. Do we catch, catch anything other than the herring? Oh, uh, reel it in. Reel it in, boys. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Nope, we got a herring. Okay. Okay. Um, is Gwen talkable? Hello. Can we talk to you? Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He's He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. Yeah, I, I, I'm aware of this. Also, we're having a, we're having a conversation in a maelstrom. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. Oh, okay. They look like classical mythical challenges again. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Ah, here we are. Um, yeah, things took a turn for the dark. Ding ding. Gondor calls for aid. All right. Uh, yeah, this is Spoopums. I guess I'll. Oh, and what is going on with the background? It's making my eyes go funny. Uh, I guess we hunt for jellyfish. Huh. We got a we got a spoopy jellyfish. Um, nope, that's a herring. All right. Well, I think we're gonna have to talk to Gwen. Because I'm not entirely sure. Ah, uh, here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. It should be visible enough. That said, uh, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out there. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Okay, I guess we're not fishing? Everything's kind of zoomed out a bit. So what the ass do we do? Oh no, why it's it's a freaking shooter. Um I whoa, okay. Uh we Oh we collect it. We collect it. Okay. So avoid the ones avoid these ones and then collect the green ones. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. So it's a little platformer. Um Oh, we're gonna need to go up. Right, okay, that kind of platformer. Huh. Uh, no, I need to get you. Come, ah, no, come, come to me, jellyfish. Yes, got the, got them glims. Right, okay, cool. Um, there's another one, and it looks like it's also high up. So hippity hoppity. Right. I was expecting the jellyfish to be in the water. That was my first mistake. The second mistake is, I'm going to assume these things are not good to touch. Oh yeah, they are way up there, way way up there. So if I uh, huh. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's not too, too bad. Like I said, well, like I've said, oh my word, not too, too bad. Right, okay, Dirk. That looks like a terrible thing to be involved in. Um, Like I said, it kind of reminds me a lot of Spirited Away. Any any Studio Ghibli stuff? I'm not entirely sure if we can... Huh? Huh? No, nope, I don't think we could have got that one. It's too close to the other one. I will leave it to I will leave it to go. Um are there any more jellyfish? Jellyfish. Or is that, that the end of the storm? Oh, there we go. We appear to be moving again. Fantastic! Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that! You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. I get cranky when I'm hungry. Oh, okay, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. 
I'm fine, thank you. Oh, okay, well, we can't can't give her a hug. Um, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Ah, no, I want down. What is... There we go. Give the cat a hug. There we go. Um, right, so we should go back to the blueprints. And build ourselves. Build. Right. Um, so that's a guest house. That's a field. That's a garden. That's a kitchen! Alright. Um, looking at it. So we've got... This, oh, yeah, okay. So we got six bright jelly from that little escapade. Um, what we can do... Put the kitchen... Oh, okay, I see. So we can we can make it more jumpy in the future. So we can get the take the roof off of the guest house and put the kitchen on top of the guest house. Hmm. I mean, sounds like a plan. I'm all for that actually. Boom, kitchen. And now we can't build another kitchen. Can we build a farm? No, we can't. We need limestone and lightning in a bottle to build the field and the garden and more maple log. Okay, so we'll go back. Right, um, we'll go back again. Oh, I got it, I got it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Don't don't mind me, it's kind of slow, but I'm getting it. I went in the wrong door, I went in the wrong door. Maybe I'm not quite getting it. Lovely kitchen. Yeah, you need to, you need to, I'm gonna go in there and have a look. Boop. Oh, right. Oh, we can actually use the, the stove. Okay, cool, lovely kitchen. You're gonna tell me we need wood next to, to fuel the stove. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around in my pockets. I have questions about your pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. You got this, girl. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Um, uh, buttons. That button. Right. So, oven. Cook. Recipes. What are the recipes? Oh, we don't have any recipes. Right, okay. So I'm assuming that's going to come into play later. Uh, we got... Oh, we... Oh, yeah, we can cook the fish. We've got wood as well. Um, heavy logs from ma maple tree. Uh, very useful building material. Let's see if the sawmill will do the trick. Oh, okay. Uh, herring is a small and unambitious fish. Some say it can be eaten fermented. As dubious as this sounds. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, I believe that's a, um, a reference to sastroming, which is pickled herring. It comes in a can that is bulging and it's fermented and it's horrible. It smells like liquid vomit. Uh, and farts all blended together, and you have to open it underwater. I will say that again, if you ever have sastroming, open it underwater. Do not open it in your car, you will regret it. And smell never gets... you can't get it out. Um, anyway, uh, corn is a golden grain with tons of different uses, sometimes corny. Can be ground into corn flour in a windmill. Alright. Uh, why to cook? I... Am I cooking it? That was why. Uh, oh, I have to select it. There we go. Why cook? Ooh, ooh, little heat haze. Ding, 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 ding. Is that? Is that? Oh, it's done. Um, boom! Popcorn. New recipe learned. Oh, excellent. Let's give this a go. Ah, the sun's going down. Okay, I spill it. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Uh, food. Uh, give. Well, I won't die just yet. This has got a cake. And a very long fork. I bet that's a silver fork as well. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. I'm sure exact I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an ubel is a symbol of passage. 
Oh, we know about Oobles from Ghost of a Tale. It's a, it's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you already knew that. Ah yes, the coins on the eyes. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint. Yes, we did. Which means you can grow many different things. And turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find resources for it around here. And then you can grow linen in it, which will turn, which will, <laughs> which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it, but that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove, and there is something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. I'll tell you when we get there. So we got a new ball. All right. Okay. Cool. Let's see. So requests. Head to Morstein Cove. Build a field. All right. Okay. Uh, we should have. There we go. So we have uh, the key for Stella's cabin. An ooble. A mark of a passage paid in full, and it's worth a thousand. Things. I'm assuming that's the currency for upgrading the ship. Uh, we have an old carpet. And you have an old shoe, soggy and smelly. Um, dusty but precious nonetheless. It it makes you slightly dizzy if looked at too long. It should be sold. Okay, so the carpet is something we could sell. We've got corn, we've got herring, we got some bright jelly. And we've got an empty bottle. We've got a maple log. We've got five maple logs. Okay, be close. Stella! All right. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? I will come and talk to you. Mm. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, the boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light being, well, light. Or some other technicality. Yeah, we can't travel at night. I, I did find that out earlier. Mm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me. Waking up has never really been my forte. That's not the words, but that's what I said. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Okay, so that's what the bell does. Right, so if we ring the bell, we don't call for aid, uh, we wake everyone on the ship up. Mm. Ah. Gonna give the cat a hug, because why would we not? Um, okay, so we can do anything at night. I... okay. I don't think we can do anything more with the blueprints. Um, can we do some night fishing? Night fishing? Well, I'm sure we can, actually. Uh, we just wait for the, wait for the little pull on the old... Oh, there we go. So the fishing rod, the lure and everything is the Everlight that we have on our belt. That's another herring. Okay, cool. Excellent. I think we probably should go and have a little sleep. Uh, so let's do that. Yeah, we're not going to need going anywhere. So we have a little sleep up here. Uh, hippity and half buddy. Right. The only thing we can interact with is the bed. The bed seems to be glowing with warmth. Uh, I hope that's warmth and not damp. Sleep until morning. Yes. No. Yeah, why not? Uh, the cat does a snuggle as well. Oh, that's lovely. No, that's genuinely lovely. And then we awaken. In the morning. Uh, interestingly, the bell is now being lit. Uh, press LB to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off yeah that's that button there we used earlier so we can go down 
the bloody cough, buddy. Uh, we can go out and we can see the sun rising up on another beautiful day in, um, I guess, actual paradise? Sort of spirit paradise? There is, yeah, there's God rays coming off that sun. So it is a genuine light source for the game. That's really, really cool. Okay, cool. Um, do we need to wake anyone up? So, uh, no. Yeah, she's kind of having a little sleep in there. Okay, uh, we can use the bell. Gondor cross fade! Ah, good morning, Stella. Excellent, yes. I will give you a hug. Uh, thanks, but that won't be necessary. Oh, okay. Mood. Mood's happy. Uh, talk. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. But I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here, taking care of me in my final hours. Oh, no. We're gonna have to move her on. I don't like that bit. You've always cared so damn much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. <laughs> hey, uh, the mood has just gone down. I don't know why that is. Uh, give you a hug? I'm fine, thank you. Oh no. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We should probably go get moving. Let's do that. Um, no, that's not the right button. The blue one. Okay, what does the map say? Uh, we need to go to an island. So, crates. Oh, the island's up here. Mossine Cove. There are some crates out here. So, but there's like a, a barrier around them? Like a line around them? Okay, seize treasure wooden ores. Uh, why don't we just do what we need to do for now and go to the island? Let's do it. Because I have a feeling that might be part of the um, part of the part of the tutorial that we're kind of doing at the moment. Well, well, a snack would a snack would be great right about now. Okay, yeah, I'll make you some dinner. Although honestly, I kind of get the feeling that you could probably do it yourself. But uh, no, we can't give it the same thing twice. So let us uh, select that and cook oh it's got a little so the timer goes around depending on how long it takes for something to cook right okay um if i exit here we're also pretty in half buddy so that's tick tick tocking away we're definitely moving let's head to the front of the boat boom seagulls move yeah, okay. It does, I mean, even though it's like 2D, it does give you a sense that you are moving through a world. Um, let's do this. So we got quarter of the time left. I don't know what that actually represents. Probably a whole minute, maybe? But since we're, since we're, oh, wait, what? Whoa, we're at the island, I believe. Okay, I'll wait for it to be cooked. And you go, bing, and then we'll take it out and give the fish to, look at that. Oh no, it's going to be overcooked. Uh, Mostine Cove discovered. Nice. Uh, no, it genuinely is burning. Get out. New recipe learned. Grilled fish. Okay, cool. Um, you are going to... I'm going to want to give that to Gwen. Uh, there we go. Look at that. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Wait, 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 wait. I need to give you some food. Whoop, 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 whoop. Food. Goldfish. Give. Thanks. I love it. I love the fact that every time we give us some food, it turns into essentially a slice of strawberry layer cake. Yeah, I'm going to go with layer cake. Ah, so we've got the, the happiness has gone up again. Mood. Um, so the mood is... Okay, favorite food is black coffee. Likes comfort food. Dislikes question mark, question mark. Optimistic about a new journey. 
was recently hugged. Oh, cool. Um, has eaten a meal she likes. Okay. All right. Nice. Um, we will go and optimistic about the journey. All right. We will go down. The cat will come with us, and we will go and oof, into the water. And here we find ourselves on a new island in the middle of the day. But I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm going to leave it there for the time being. I'm also going to give the cat a hug. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe, and definitely, uh, definitely leave a comment if you feel that way inclined. Um, I tell you what though, I will catch you next time.